Hi, 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 and welcome to LNA Does Audio Stuff. If you are new here, this is the place to learn music production and able to live in a very safe and nice and fun environment. So fun. Welcome. In today's video, you will learn how synths actually work in a very easy way. And we will also look into Ableton Live's instruments and actually talk about what's the difference between them and what are they good for. So let's get into it now. Okay, let's talk about the basics of Synths first. So in front of me, I have learningsynths.ableton.com and the playground of this amazing website. So it's full of amazing learning material about Synths. So I definitely recommend you to go and have a look at it. We're gonna use this to talk about the basic stuff. So we have something first that creates the sound of the synthesizer. And this is called oscillator. Oscillator is something that creates the sound, whether that's using a sample as the basics of the sound maybe it's a wave shape that is generated or maybe it is a, a mathematical equation that is being created from replicating another sound so oscillator is that place where sound begins <laughs> After this, the sound is gonna go, fuff, 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 fuff. I don't know what that was, but it's sound going <laughs> to the next stop, which is usually an envelope. So envelope, especially amplitude envelope, which is the third one here, is the place where the sound that is being created by the oscillator is being controlled. How does it react when we press? When we press a MIDI controller, like this, what happens to the sound after that? Is it just gonna play like that? Or is it gonna play or is it gonna play Do you know what I mean? And why is it amplitude? Is because you could see me when I was demonstrating sound, you could see me going louder voice or quieter voice, which is almost like the decay. So it's always like when we press it, how is the sound reacting? How fast is it going to go to the loudness or how slow is it going to come back from that loudness that we want it to be? So we're going to talk about that all later. I'm going to demonstrate oscillators and envelopes and all that. After this, it's going to go into filter. So we're going to go to now to the area where we are manipulating modulating, customizing the sounds that we have created and we are, which we are controlling with the envelope. So example, low pass filter. How many harmonics of the frequencies we are created with the oscillator, how many of them do we want to hear? That happens with the low pass filter. After this, we will maybe want to add even more effects to it. With LFO, we can create a pulsing sound. So we can actually connect in the synthesizers, we can usually connect these kind of effects like LFO, which is very basic one, into the filter. So we can create example, the filter going woo, 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 woo. <laughs> or we can make the oscillator go in loudness. Boom, 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 boom. You know what it means? <laughs> So we can make it pulse or we can make the filter pulse. And how cool is that? So this is the basics of the basics. You know what oscillators are, you know what envelope is, you know what filter is, and then you know that it can be all modulated with something like LFO. I also recommend you to go and play around with this website because you can also export example, a synth sound and put it into your Ableton Live. Cool, so let's go into Ableton Live. What's the difference between all these instruments? Analog, collision, electric, 
impulse, operator, sampler, simpler, tension, wave table. It's synthesis. Synthesis is the difference. Synthesis is basically how is the sound being generated? So we already know oscillators generate the sound, but synthesis is different ways that oscillators can generate the sound. Different ways. That's basically the biggest difference between the instruments. Where does the sound come from originally? Who makes it? Are you gonna make it? Or is someone clever made a code somewhere making it? Let's start with analog. Okay, so analog uses one of the most common synthesis called subtract subtractive synthesis. So it means that oscillator makes sound waves then it goes to the filter and then goes into the amplifier and then to your output example. When we talk about oscillators making sound waves, we have in analog two oscillators. We have an oscillator one, wave shapes. We have four wave shapes. We have sine wave, which is the very warm. <laughs> we have a sawtooth wave square wave and then we have this like random which is a bit more like noise so both of these oscillators have the same options we can also deactivate so we can use example just one oscillator then that goes to the filter amplifier then we ha can have the option for lfo and other modulation options so you can see that we go from left to right so that's very easy in able to live we can always go from left to right and just start where does the sound come from then we go and filter it uh, use the envelope example see here this is the envelope of the amp envelope looks like that we have the controls attack decay sustain and release so you can have it here exactly the same way we have attack is that line there going up decay is the line between these two squares here sustain is the this one here, this section, and release is the last section here. How long is the sound gonna play after you release it? In subtractive synthesis, we can obviously have one oscillator, we can also have two oscillators. So example, the first oscillator have a sine wave, other one has a sawtooth, and then we can detune the example, the second one a little bit. <laughs> So with the one oscillator, just sine wave, oscillator two, sawtooth. And you can hear how massive different that is. Filter, we can filter it out. We can also use the amp envelope to control it. So this will make a massive change. Do we want it to be like a pad sound? So then maybe I bring the decay up, I bring the uh, release. Where, example, if we take the release very short and then also the decay and sustain kind of very down there. In this point, it's also good to remind her that every single instrument that I talk about in here, I've already done a very in-depth tutorial on. So if you want to know what every single button here does, then go and watch the playlist down below. That is subtractive synthesis. Putting two different type of waves or similar type of waves together, filtering it, using the envelopes, adding some modulation. Very, very simple. Also in this point, it's good to remind what modulation means. Modulation, when we say about modulating with LFO or whatever, you know, it means that we are basically changing or varying a sound using a tool, uh, example like uh, LFO, to create a certain type of effect, like pulsing effect, which LFO creates. And this is very important word for the next instrument we're gonna talk about, which is operator. What's the synthesis with operator? How does it create sound? So operator can do a couple different type of synthesis actually, but the main synthesis is designed for is FN synthesis. What this means is that we have multiple oscillators. So here we have four oscillators, one, two, three, and four. They actually have capability of modulating each other. So we could example have the first oscillator A and have a sine wave there. Second oscillator, we can create, let's say sawtooth. So without the second oscillator modulating the first one, it just sounds like this, just a sine wave. But we add the second oscillator here, which will then modulate the first one. It's completely different. Third one, we will add something else. 
and they're just adding up to each other because they're all modulating each other. The fourth one, the D, let's add something else. Voila! That's basically it. We have four oscillators, they all can modulate each other. And then we also have here LFO, filter, pitch envelope, which is also fun because it's the same similar than envelope we had before that we worked on, but it changes the pitch. <laughs> and how pitch is reacting with the sound. It's very fun. But also FM synthesis usually has an FM algorithm, which means that we can change the order of the modulation. So example is D modulating C only, and then B is modulating A only, something like this. Operator, what you can also do is additive synthesis. It's one of the most earliest ways of, of synthesis that we could have example two oscillators that both are on sine wave. So we need to make sure that they're not modulating each other. We just have them all separate, the last algorithm there. So it means that B and A are just two sine waves on the top of each other. The next thing we need to talk about is wavetable. We have again, you see oscillator one, oscillator two. Wavetable actually uses wavetable synthesis. How clever is that? It uses audio samples with single cycle waveforms as the source of sound. Yes, it does. It creates a wavetable out of a sample and then we use only one strain of a wave from that wavetable. I will show how that works. So we have the oscillator one that right now has a very basic wavetable. We have a sine wave, triangle, uh, sawtooth and square wave. But what if we go to sample section and just get a sample here? <laughs> Vocal sample example. Vocal example example. <laughs> and I drag and drop it into the oscillator. Look what happens. It looks beautiful. And now there's this wave selector on the right side and I can just select one of the waves out of this wave table that is being created out of the vocal sample. Each one of these strands of waves sound has a different character. And this is super cool because you can basically now, example, make this octave lower like that, we can activate the oscillator too, add a different sample there. Wow, that's beautiful. I love the graphics in this. We also have a third oscillator here, which is a sub oscillator. We can add that. That's actually beautiful. We can filter it. And we have an amp envelope. So example, create a plug bass instrument. Or little bit with the longer. We can have example unison, which is one of my favorite things that spreads it into a couple of voices. Big synthesized sound, which originated from the samples we put it in the wavetable. Cool, how cool is that? I actually want to save that. I'm going to just keep that there. <laughs> After this, we have three instruments, Kalizen, Electric and Tension. They all use a same synthesis, which is called physical modeling synthesis. So basically what physical modeling means is that some very clever mathematician has taken the sound of example, a mallet, like a percussion mallet, and then created an algorithm out of that sound, which is now replicated by Kalizen. That's why this sounds like a mallet. So Kalizen is mallet and percussion. Electric is electric pianos. And tension is strings. Ah, synthesis is so cool. Like audio is so cool. Who thought of all this? <laughs> so the next one, we have also three instruments in one. Same type of synthesis, and that is sample bass synthesis. So instead of an oscillator which creates sound by math or generating a sound wave, we are actually using an audio sample, a bit like in Wavetable, not just taking one signal from there, we're actually using the audio sample as the basis of sound. So simpler, sampler, as well as impulse, those three uses sample based synthesis.
example in impulse we can go sample get a sample there drop it there we can play it again we have similar type of controls as we have in, in other synthesis we have the sound source which has you know transpose stretch like all these like sound source related task and we also have here drive but also look filter the same way as we have a filter in other synths we have also a filter here we also have decay the envelope works slightly different in here because we have how does the sample decay how does this sample start we can also have simpler my simpler tutorial on my channel is been one of my popular videos ever so if you want to learn about simpler go and watch that because people seem to like it and we have again filter as attack and decay and system release it also has a lfo the same stuff as every single synthesizer. When you learn one synth, you will learn all of them. Also, we have one more type of synthesis in Ableton Live, and this will be only available for people with Ableton Live Suite. Granulator 2 instrument, which is a Max for Live pack that you need to download. And if you have Max for Live, you will get it there. So it's based on the same principle as sampling, basically. But the difference is that samples are split into smaller pieces. And these small pieces are called grains. So example, we could put here a sample. And you, when I press it, you can hear, you can see these little lines going around, which are basically the grains. All these controls are affecting how the grains are being played and how they're moving around related to this area that we are selecting from the sample. So that can create very cool... ...synthesized sounds. So again, if you wish to see more creative samples of me using this, I have so many videos using all these instruments. So go check out the playlist down below. Also, this playlist here, I'm linking it here as well. I also really want to thank my patrons as always because they are freaking amazing. So if you want to meet some like-minded people in Discord, chat about audio in a very safe and very fun environment, supported environment especially go and check out my patreon because these amazing people are already there this here check it out thank you so much for watching please subscribe please hit the bell icon love you come again bye